Ever thought the computer mouse was a mistake? Well, buckle up for this wild ride. Picture this, the year is 1964, and a wild idea springs into existence. A device that will revolutionize the way we interact with computers. Enter the computer mouse, a piece of hardware that, quite frankly, resembles a rodent more than anything. But wait, it gets better. This revolutionary device had one job, one simple task, to click and scroll. Yes, folks, someone actually thought, hey, let's create a device that does nothing but click and scroll. And the best part, it was hailed as a game changer. Oh, how easily amused the public was back then. This quirky little invention with its odd shape and singular function was the talk of the tech world. So the computer mouse was born, a device that would change the way we interact with computers forever. Or so they thought. But wait, there's more. The mouse wasn't the only game in town. Now let's talk about the underdogs in this digital input device drama. First up, we have the trackpad. Sleek, smooth, and it doesn't even need a tail. It's like the mouse went to a spa, lost a few pounds, and came back all shiny and new. Plus, it's built right into the laptop. No extra baggage, no tangled wires. It's the ultimate no fuss, no must solution. Then there's the stylus. Ah, the stylus, the pen of the digital world. If the mouse is a clunky old tractor, the stylus is a sleek sports car. Smooth, precise, and oh so refined. You can draw, write, tap, swipe, and do a whole ballet with this little guy. The mouse, on the other hand, can barely manage a clumsy shuffle. But let's not forget the unsung hero in this digital saga, the keyboard. Now, here's a device that's been carrying the load since day one. It's the workhorse of the digital world, the one that does all the heavy lifting. Tipping an email? The keyboard's got you. Filling out a form? The keyboard's on it. Writing a novel? The keyboard is your loyal, steadfast companion. Meanwhile, the mouse is off to the side, lazily scrolling and occasionally clicking like it's doing us all a big favour. And yet, despite all the hard work, it's the mouse that gets all the attention. It's like the mouse is the flashy frontman of a rock band while the keyboard is the drummer, keeping the beat, driving the rhythm, but largely unnoticed. It's a thankless job, but somebody's got to do it. So, while the mouse is off getting a manicure, these other devices are doing all the heavy lifting. They're the real heroes of the digital world, the ones that keep things running smoothly while the mouse is off taking a nap. It's high time we give them the recognition they deserve. Now, let's talk about why the mouse is more of a pest than a pet. Just like its rodent counterpart, the computer mouse has been gnawing away at our productivity and health. First off, this little guy is a bit of a diva. It demands a flat surface to strut its stuff. No flat surface. Well, you might as well be trying to herd cats and don't even get me started on the moose pads. They're like the red carpets for these tiny celebrities. What's worse, this seemingly harmless device is actually a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's been contributing to an epidemic of repetitive strain injuries, turning us into a generation of carpal tunnel sufferers. It's like a silent assassin, slowly but surely crippling us one click at a time. In essence, the mouse is a bit like that cheese in a mouse trap. It looks tempting, it's easy to use, but it's a trap. So the mouse, while looking innocent enough, is really a ticking time bomb for your wrist. So, was the computer mouse a mistake? Well, let's take a quick step back and look at the breadcrumbs we've left behind. We've seen how this little plastic contraption came into existence, 
promising to revolutionize the way we interact with our computers. But did it deliver? Well, if you consider a carpal tunnel diagnosis a badge of honor, then sure, it did. We then took a detour to explore the land of alternatives, the magical kingdom of trackpads, styluses, and even eye tracking technology. A world where you don't need a mouse mat and your wrist isn't screaming for mercy. And let's not forget the fall from grace. The mouse, once the golden boy of computer peripherals, now seen as the clunky, outdated relic it truly is. So, there you have it. The computer mouse, an overrated, underperforming, wrist-destroying piece of plastic. Time to give that trackpad some love, folks.